It's everything now. An interactive comedy show on Twitch where you, the viewers, are in control. Featuring special guests from all over the Twitch community and the Los Angeles comedy scene. Enter a variety of wild scenarios with colorful characters and help steer the story in whatever direction you want. You can vote in polls to pick dialogue or make choices. You can pay to play sound effects that have in-show ramifications. Road end in 100 feet. What the fuck? Submit images over Twitter and Discord for us to use. Or just hop in the chat and suggest what you think we should do. It's your show too, friend. Every episode is its own sandbox to play in. There's never a dull moment. Hop on in and experience everything now. Hi, everybody. This is Talk Fight. No clap? Okay. There we go. There we go. Welcome to Talk Fight. I'm your host, David Nivens. Warm winter. A V E A A E A. Whomst. Sunbro. Warm. A lot of tough names in the chat early tonight. Warm winter. Scott. Handsome boy. Cut that out, please. Please don't do that. It's so early in the episode for us to have already done this. Uh, thank you so much for joining, everybody. Talk fight, as you know, is your classic debate show. Debate where two people use an arbitrary set of rules to try to make the other person feel stupid. Only through this can we achieve some, something. Something comes of this, I'm sure. You gotta imagine we're getting something out of this. We do it so much. So you just gotta hope some people get something out of this. Thank you so much for joining. This is a very simple format. We'll pick a topic from you in the audience. We will have our two debaters debate the topic. And if at any time you feel that they're not doing a good job, there's some things you can do about that. You can submit $3 and choose a new topic. Or you can eject them and we'll get a new debater out here and forget they ever existed. They're gone. They're out of here. Also, you can sponsor the show. We can go ahead and show you an example of that. Premium Oxygen, Rex's spinning, vibrating dildos, Scromby, Alex Jones' special pills for precious baby boys, Slappies, Honkers, and Breasts, Attorneys at Law, and Build-A-Bear Workshop. Those were last episode's sponsors, and we thank them. But now we can have entirely new ones. And at the halfway point of this episode, we will see a couple commercials from those sponsors. So go ahead and get those sponsors in early. And of course, we can pull evidence that you submit in the Discord. So if someone wants to go ahead and hit exclamation point Discord, you can join the Discord. And among other very cool and fun things to do in that Discord, you can submit images that we can use tonight as evidence. I think that pretty much covers everything we need to know. Anyone have any questions? Uh, I am David Nivens. I've never once successfully done this show. It always devolves into chaos. I've walked out of the show a couple times already. Um, So I have a bad feeling about tonight, generally. Um, that being said, we got to do it. No, there will not be banana chips tonight. That's a different format. You only get that one format. There's only one format they do snack time. All right. Without any further ado, chat, can you give me some topics? Now, I will say this, and it will be ignored, but please don't give me uh, boobs versus butt. Please don't give me that kind of topic. Give me something that's an actual topic, something we can debate, something that, that can, there can be a, a clear, you know, pro and con on, and and everyone's like kind of gets it, and we can have sides, and it's not just like oh, dick versus balls, you know, like come on, have a little, have a little, uh, you know, restraint. It's an easy one. Um, Green bell pepper had a good. One. Yeah, no, it's gonna be a no for me on that one. Um. Oh, is the minimum wage enough? I like that one. Is the minimum wage enough? And so we're gonna take that there should be a minimum wage right out of the gate, that's gonna be accepted. But we're gonna say, is it currently, at, I think it's 725 federally, and in some states it's anywhere from like 15 to 6, 12 to $16. Is that enough or should we raise it? 
Now let's go ahead and introduce our first two debaters here tonight. And a lot of good ones in there, so feel free to uh, bring those up next time. Uh, a lot of bad ones too, but that's how it goes. All right, so let's go ahead and introduce yourselves. You want to introduce yourself, sir? Yeah, sure thing, man. <clears throat> Greetings. I am Dr. Spinner McRacist. Okay. I am the head, nose, throat, and cold doctor at the Ketchup Clinic, and I'm ready to talk about stuff. So you're the head, nose, and throat doctor, the head, nose, and cold doctor? Head, nose, cold doctor at the Ketchup Clinic. Okay, Dr. McRacist. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. You want to introduce yourself? Uh, hello, uh, I'm Tucker Cattleson. Um, I am very similar to Tucker Carlson, except oh. I'm a lib cuck and also a cat. Okay. So we have liberal, feline Tucker Carlson, Tucker Cattleson. <laughs> And we have Dr. McRacist, who has not described himself good as luck. racist Thank yet, you. You will but we'll find out. Hey. Excuse me? Kitty cat, good luck. You're gonna get a little gentleman's shake here. Okay, they're like a cat. They're, okay. they're very much they're like a cat. definitely a cat. That's definitely confirmed. Ooh. All right. Okay. I've also got a little tail. He's gonna show us his butt. Okay. Thank you for showing that. Do I have to show my ass? No, nope, not unless you want to. Do you to. want me to? No. Nope. And that's something that MSNBC, or actually Fox News, isn't going to tell you. Right, because you would probably like MSNBC, right? I like, um... Do you curl up on Rachel Maddow's lap? I do. I also like the show Cat Dog. I watch reruns. Wow. Okay. On Boomerang. Okay, perfect. Uh, well, Tucker, since you're Libcuck, as you said, we'll have you be that the minimum wage is not enough. And Dr. McRacist will have you be that it is enough. Perfect. Does that all work? You Sounds all feel good about that? Sounds good, man. Okay. You got the uh, mail. Oh. Oh, Jay the... Riley, thank you so much for the sub. I think we got a sub earlier, too. So let's go ahead and get the names of uh, what you're sponsoring the show with. Please don't purr into the mic. Purr. Is he going to gonna hairball? I guess we'll find out. He's doing it. Uh, go ahead and give us those names, and whenever we're ready to show them, we'll, uh, we'll pull them up on the screen. In the meantime, uh. you good? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. A lot of noises coming out of you two. Let's try to just keep them, let's just try to debate. Crafty. Sir. Okay. Tucker, just room go ahead and start us Dr. off. Pepper. Let's get that timer going and uh, let's see how it goes. So am I in favor of the minimum wage or? A... You think it needs to be higher. I think it needs to be higher. Well, that's perfect because that's something I actually think. For, for those of you out there who think that the minimum wage is enough right now, think of just how many more treats your owners could buy you. And to put it in terms that you might understand. And why might, why might we understand that? And why might we understand that? You're still going, I notice. All right, is that rooted in fact or is he just making Are stuff Are you up? speaking? Are you saying full sentences right now that we're supposed to interpret? Are you, am I supposed, is, wow, is there okay. a translation to what you're doing? He's threatening the host. Well, okay, is I he? will say, I will just he say, just you. I will just say that the CBO did, so they sort of crunched the numbers and raising the minimum wage nationally to $15 an hour, uh, just as a bare minimum, including for in those states where they might otherwise set the minimum wage arbitrarily low for people like food service workers where they're expecting to, to augment that by way of tips. If you raise the national national minimum wage by to $15 an hour at a minimum and then tie that to inflation, you actually see a significant economic boost across the board nationally. And so what's the disincentive to doing that? Okay, I lost you. I had you there for a second. Okay, uh, Dr. McRacist, while he, while he putters on there, do you want to chime in with your counter argument here? Yes, I do. And okay, it looks like someone's going to be playing evidence or something. Yeah, yeah. we're going to have some evidence to support your claim you're about to make here, so. Great. Yeah. I mean, come on, folks. Like, hold on, what's I say in the bottom left? It says beans. It says beans. All right. Look, you get the beans that you get and that you're given, and you're happy about it. You get the beans that you get and that you're given, and then you're happy about it. Enough is enough. Minimum wage is too high, in my opinion. Okay, so you're actually going that it should be lower. Yeah. And what's your basis in saying that? People are spoiled these days. Oh, just kids these days, they don't know what hard work is? Kids these fucking days. I got seven daughters, bro. Okay, and they don't work hard? They just take, 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 take. 
work, 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 work. Me, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. Them, they sit around, they, they play Wii U, and they, they talk old about are Bravo. How old are they generally? Well, let's see. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, wow. 8. Quite a, quite a span there. Yeah, got the whole spectrum. Um, yeah, and they think they can go out and uh, and work and then buy their Range Rovers and their Video Nows and their Tamagotchis. And they think that I'll just buy them for them. But no, they have to fight for it, okay? That's what being in the workforce is about. It's about fighting. So in my opinion, minimum wage, there shouldn't be a set. The only thing that's set in minimum wage, everyone gets a gun. Please don't do that. Okay. Uh, thank you I can speak oh, on that. Thank, thank you so much for this. Well, I was actually just going to ask a question because you seem to be sort of against the the today's the way people see and do things. Maybe if I, would I guess to say you think there's a woke mob out oh, there? Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Now, would that be because your name is Doctor McRacist? Do people have problems with that generally? Yes, and people make assumptions. And looks like Tucker's okay. at the bakery. He's doing he's some kneading. kneading. The dough. He's kneading yeah. the dough at the bakery. People make assumptions because they read books like covers, and they judge covers, and they shouldn't these days, okay? Just because my name is Spinner McRacist does not mean that I am, in fact, a racist, all right? Just because I'm wearing a fez, well, I am Turkish. That is true. I am, okay. I'm wearing a fez because I am a Turk. But I'm not a racist. I do have weird feelings about women, but that does not okay. mean I'm racist. And we don't have time to get into that. So, uh, Tucker, you have a counterpoint to that. Not racist, but he says kids today are entitled, they don't work hard. Okay, Tucker, are you all right? Are you sleepy? What's going on? Wow. You, were, you were saying hominem. words. Ad hominem attack, is that the word? I don't know. I think that's it. You were saying words. I, mean, I can't quite. Okay, hang on. We're gonna get some evidence. To yeah, back your plan. that up. Okay. This is unfounded. This, this has is what your is evidence. this? This is you brought this. this is oh, your evidence. of course I did. Of you course I did. This. Yes. Your no. evidence. Um, well, children today are being uh, sexualized in a way that uh, that I kind of dig as a lib cuck. When I think about a 15 year old seeing Euphoria for the first time and then going into school and, and being given an assignment to draw some art for class and they come up and they give Patrick Starr a dump truck ass, I think America is heading in the right direction, actually. So be nice to the kids. Be nice to the people who are trying to find themselves. And then also, just again, to clarify for those of you at home who may not really understand, thank you. Thank you, Jay Riley 13. For those of you who may not be up to speed, okay? Now, I hate to- I swear, Pervert! I hate to harp on this. Am I supposed to know what you're saying right now? You're gonna say that on live television? What's he saying? Do you know what he's saying? It's, I can't, it's kind of like, the, I can't you translate can't say it, it, because I've heard be. it. You know? Okay. And what I don't understand is you're so willing to speak, to speak and then suddenly that goes away. And you seem to not, when I try to talk to you, you seem to not be here. Uh, this is what we call in the news game a dog whistle. Ah. Okay. So maybe you just... Or maybe it. more like a cat whistle, hmm, when okay. you think about it. So, do you have a response to the thing he said about sexualizing... T I feel like he's honestly setting you up for success here. Do you have a response? Yeah, absolutely. To, yeah. All Democrats are, are perverts like that. They, they think the kids are sexy, and they make art about that. And uh, I don't know how that really dives into minimum wage. But yeah, we just, seem to have veered off here. Yeah, that's the fact. That's where we are. I feel like that's on him. I feel like I, I've been on topic. I've been on task. You're the one talking about drawing Patrick This is how, this is how I feel about what he says. He's going to meow. No, no, no. This is how I feel about He's what he says. Meow. You know? Oh, you're just I thought he was going to meow also. I'm doing, meow. No, I'm yeah. doing the, the Tucker Cattleson face, you know? When I'm listening, so this is me. This is me. Just my default listening face. This is me. Cut, cut back to me again. Get a close up. All right, Hang we're on. Gonna, we're going to see gonna some to evidence see to support your claim yeah. here. Where do you yeah, get off? Yeah, sir? show. Yeah, show. Show the evidence. What research has your team done? Now, see that. Yes, okay. I can't read the bottom text. We're all going to stand up simultaneously. Walk Sorry, over to the camera. Shamona. And we all know what that means. Like Shamona. Shamona. Like the thing that Michael Jackson says. Ah. Shamona. See, interesting 
interesting sort of place I have to find myself in where I have to determine how I feel about Michael Jackson. And and I, I don't know how really mm. how I feel. Yeah, I think what 20 would years, Tucker Cattleson think about Michael Jackson? I know. Jackson? Again, I points know. for me, though. I feel like he's just digging a grave yeah, for all no, Democrats. You really got a big W here, I think. We're walking I ain't doing shit. One. I ain't said <laughs> shit. So we're talking about minimum wage. And I think it should be higher. And, and so, I brought evidence. Now let's just let's yep. let's let's play this out. Let's run the logic yep. of this out. Okay. Now I presented evidence in the form of Michael Jackson, like a meme. All right. Jackson. Moving on. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut okay. the fuck up. No, no more talking about that ever again. We're okay. never going to talk about that ever again. Right, okay. Yeah. Keep the timer. Cat girls. Too sexy. You're going to argue yes. You're going oh, to argue. Why would you wait. Do that? No. No. You're going to argue no. You're going to say yes. Fucking go. Okay. Uh, okay. Whenever you're ready, they're too sexy. Go. They're too sexy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look. I mean, look. I love cartoons. I think it's good to show the kids lessons through art that appeases them or whatever. But when I'm going around the house and I'm doing my Zoom meetings, I don't want to accidentally see some fucking, you know, He-Man, Skeletor, Cat Lady, you know, doing her something on a TV, and I get a big fat thingy down there, and I gotta do my work. I'm getting distracted, okay? So we need to tone it down over there in Hollywood, okay? So, so it sounds put like your you're pants you up. Are turned on by this? Yeah, they're too sexy. Okay. I can't be Do going around day to, to day that? getting turned on this easily. I have I have I have one thing to say to the audience out there. It's going to be a meow. Think about your think about this, okay? It's meow. Yeah. I didn't expect it like that. But meow. Yeah. No, 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 no. Cat girls are just the right amount of sexy. In fact, maybe they're not when I, I'm saying there's a, a ver, there's a version of the world that I see where I'm not seeing enough cat girls, okay? So they're not sexy enough. How do things look to you? Do you have the full range of color? Monochromatic. Ah, uh, got it. Um, uh, everything is is politics. The personal is political, folks. Think about that next time you send your kids to school. We're gonna next get time some you send your kids to, to school, the claim you're making right now. and they make them take off their fishnet stockings in in their their you know yes my first vape. This is God. Explain it. You have to explain it. You can't just react to it. And that's that's a got about, 17, oh, got about 17 that such a cop out. Got about You're lucky that that is relevant to who you are. Got about 17 Carlson. seconds left of meowing. But that boy, I... you were supposed to explain that. Can I try some? Yep. Like scratches? Like scratches? Mm, yes. Time. Oh, that's time. Yes. I made my point. Let's go ahead and oh, hit a poll up, uh, and, and we're not nothing to do with minimum wage. This Forget all that shit about the minimum wage stuff. That shit felt That's good. Fun. That shit felt fucking tight. You're you want to do more of that? Did Tucker You're Cattleson welcome. win the debate? Please don't sit on me. You want to do more of that? Did, did Tucker more. Cattleson win the debate? Or did McRacist, Dr. McRacist Spinner win the debate? Spinner McRacist. Dr. Spinner McRacist win the debate. I'd like to say, uh, yes, also I do think we should arm everybody, and that's gonna kind of be the ultimate equalizer. All right, let's get you off of me, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead. Entire, he's falling, go. got it. It's a big cat. It's a big cat. And it's look wow. It's yeah, I know. Like, it's uh, they're giving it to the fucking. You cat. know, if I think if we had stuck with minimum wage, watch out for my coffee. I see it. If we had stuck with minimum wage, <laughs> I think you would have won it. But I think when you said you get turned on by cats, that sort I'm of exploring. defeated your arguments. That's okay. I'm exploring. I'm gonna look around. You can do that. I no, think this, this is, is pretty cool. This is just like when. What's like, this? Don't talk. Don't. If please, I bat this, please don't. Please don't do that. Can please I touch this? That. You know the truth is that they what all are this? turned on. Jake by cats. works very hard is on the audio. Is this a snake? What is this? All right, you yeah. won somehow. What is this? Is this a snake? You won somehow. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. World's going to shit. Hey. Because of people like him. I. You know what, Doctor McRacist? I thought you and I would not agree on very many things. It's a pleasure meeting you. It's a pleasure meeting you. Fuck. All right. Bye, guys. Do you have a real hand behind there? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Please don't take my blue <laughs> handicap placard away. I will not. Well, he left. Give him a, I was supposed to give I'll him an it. award. I'll take it. Oh, you know what? I don't I'll have it. it. So you have a it's treat. Fine. You don't. You, I don't. You, you, totally you got a treat. You got totally a treat. Come forgot. on, you got a treat. Give me something. I I don't. I mean, does someone want to grab? I got a bunch of these. Here you go. Here. Go go nip on. Here you them. go. Here's bones. <laughs> a bunch like of bones. Them. There you go. It's boring. Give me. Okay. Give me something right. I can't chew on. I don't. I mean, give me your mug. No, leave me alone. I know that's what you chew on, but I really want to. These cost two thousand a pop. Get out of here, please. Please. We're done. We're done. You're lucky. I'm like. Important and rich. We're done. We're done. All right. We're done. Get out. All right, let's see the sponsors. 
Mike Hawk DDS. <laughs> and David Niven's Hardcock Sock Cafe. Wow, I didn't realize my cafe was going to be sponsoring this. Janice, who runs the business side of things, must have called that in. Um, if you are looking for just like a fun, cool, casual hangout cafe, don't let the name fool you. It's just a great place to work on a screenplay or just, you know, get, get out of the house for a little bit. Um, all right. Wow. We, we actually made it through that one. Um, that was clean. That was I clean was not clean. happy. I was not enjoying it, but we did make it through it. So, what can you say, really? All right, let's go. Let's come back in on me here. And then we'll get the next two people out here. What if I'm a girl? Is it still enjoyable? Yeah, yeah. Don't let the name fool you. The name is just uh, to be provocative and to stand out. And so when you're like looking at, when you do coffee shop in Google and you're reading all the things, you're like, whoa, what the fuck? But then when you look closer in, it's just, it is a very uh, yeah. casual, fast service, just like nice single roast coffee that we do, we do a little espresso drinks that the baristas actually use like a shaker to make the espresso drinks, the mixed drinks, the lattes and things like that. So it's very cool. It's very hip. There's like an outdoor seating section that's very cool. And let's get our uh, next two debaters out here as well. We can have, yeah. Um, and am I a fan of Pat Thick Star? I don't know what that was. I had never seen anything like that before. It made me uncomfortable and great. We didn't really get our topic yet, but thank you. Let's get the next topic and then we'll forget you saw those people. Let's get the next topic and then we will, uh, then we will get, uh, we'll introduce these two. And uh, ghosts, maybe you want to speak more specifically about that fool aloof, I'm interested. Um, which is more important to me, the video or the audio? That's actually a very interesting... Oh, Harry Horror Show just rated us with 205 viewers. Thank you so much. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Uh, we are the Everything Now Show, and tonight's, tonight's form is Talk Fight. We are debating... Um, I'm not going to be able to see any of the topics now, but we are debating, uh, and there's things you can do to affect the debate. You can, uh, make us choose a new topic. You can eject the debaters if you'd like a new debater to come out instead. Um, and you can submit, uh, you can make them show some evidence, and that evidence is submitted in our Discord. So, uh, you can join the Discord and submit that evidence. Thank you so much, Harry Horror. If you're one of our viewers, Check out the Harry Horror Show. Uh, very cool guy, does true crime stuff. Um, weed or alcohol. Uh, we got a corporate sponsor there, thank you. Uh, thank you for the follows, everyone, as well. Uh, should toenails be recycled or not? That's interesting. Uh, keep them coming, and, and there, it's, is it ever okay to murder? That's very interesting. Is dad jokes wrong if you're not a dad? Okay. Hmm, I do like that one. Latitude or longitude? Is democracy good? Uh, oof. Is democracy good? Is tempting. I... Ghosts? Oh, okay. Pool of, yeah, I, I owe it to you from before. Ghosts. Fact or fiction? So we're going to debate if ghosts are real. Ghosts. Specters. Supernatural beings. This stuff, is it real? Or are people just making shit up? Is this all just people being weird or crazy? Or is it actually something that's happening? Join me and my two debaters as we figure that out. So let's go ahead and introduce my two debaters. Great. And now act like you're seeing them for the first time. Do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself, sir? Yes, uh, my name is Cassian Andor. Cassian Andor? Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. What do you do, sir? Oh, I just, I'm a lawyer. Okay. Cassie and Andor. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, and then, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Caroline Coconuts, and I'm a dancer. Caroline I, Coconuts. Yeah, I dance background in music videos, so, yeah. 
Wow, that's very cool. Mm-hmm. Caroline Coconuts dances background in music videos. Yeah. Cassian Andor is a lawyer. Hi, mm. Cassian. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Two are going to be debating if ghosts are real. Does that okay. sound good? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm going to have you say ghosts are not real. Okay. And you're going to say they are. Cool. Does that cool. work? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we're getting an immediate question here once we get that timer going what's up with your hands um i mean we're not here to debate my hands we're not here to debate them but it is it is sort of the elephant in the room well i I, if you have to know my dad was a wolf man okay so i'm half wolf man half wolf man that would explain the armenianness of your name thank you all right um we aren't here to debate the hands, but we could for three simple dollars. It could become entirely about the hands. I mean, if you want to pay three dollars, I can debate the hands if you'd like. But for now, ghosts are not real. Let's get us started, Cassian. Okay, well, let's break down what a ghost actually is, okay? Now, is it an apparition or is it a shadow? We don't really know because we've never actually seen them. And that's because they don't exist. And well, what about all the videos and stuff for eyewitness testimonies and things like that? They're always made up. They're uh, special effects. I mean, we all know about Hollywood and uh, everything they're able to do these days. They can they can do CGI. They can do mirror tricks. I, I saw a movie the other day that had a mirror trick in it, and I was <laughs> I was very interested. And I thought, is this real? It's not real. It's Hollywood. It's all it's all fake. Ghosts were created by Hollywood to make you think that We're getting exist. some things that a ghost once fed me a frozen banana. I heard a ghost that said, ooh. Um, that is also made up. Ghosts and hang on, we're going to see some evidence to support your claim about this. Okay. And one moment as we pull up this evidence. Okay. All right, so uh, live, laugh, lobotomy. And now, as this relates to ghosts, as you can see, there's a body with a brain. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, where's the ghost there? Where and then you know, and then also, if you're getting a lobotomy, does the does the ghost try to stop the lobotomy? No, <laughs> it does not. It's it just it just happens. So where what what good is a ghost if it's if it's not even stopping your lobotomy? And it, it might make you live and laugh, but lobotomy? No, it's it's interesting. It's not. It's, it doesn't exist, or else lobotomies wouldn't exist. <laughs> and okay. Miss Coconuts, do you have a response to that? It's you can call me Caroline. Okay. Miss Coconuts is my mom. Of course. Thank you. Of course. Who is also a dancer, and so is my grandma. Wow. You, yeah. They're all dan- Who who did your grandma dance with? If I might ask. My grandma danced with Fred Astaire. Wow, that's very cool. Yeah. So you're kind of a Hollywood person. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So that that could be relevant in, in the debate here. So okay, so you're going to argue ghosts do exist. So what, what makes you say that? Yeah, ghosts absolutely exist because I was actually, I was a dancer on the Thriller music video and what a lot of people don't realize <laughs> is Michael actually did use real ghosts and monsters and Wow. He, Michael was a big proponent of giving anybody a job, especially outcasts, like maybe someone like yourself, Mr. Andor, someone with weird hands or weird fur, <laughs> sort of Hang dog on, we're going to see some evidence to support your claims. Yes. So let's let's go ahead and pull that up. Yeah, so the, the LGBTQ, LGBTQ community. Plus community has forgiven wise mystical tree. So this is awesome because I have actually heard a lot about this mystical tree and there is a lore that it is a ghost that in fact habits the tree. And he says really hurtful things. And it's actually really awesome that the tree has been forgiven. I actually think that's a, I think that's a praise report. Okay. In my family, when something really awesome happens to us, we call it a praise report. And we'll so if we book a book a if we book a gig, and that's what we call that. When we book a gig, we get so excited and we say that's a praise report. And you just like you come in and you explain, I have a praise report. Yeah. And then you say I booked the gig. Or sometimes I say I booked a gig, and then my family will say that's a praise report. Okay. So it's a call and response thing. Almost. Yeah, okay. and you can interchange them. Okay, uh, that's good to know. And so you said you've actually worked with ghosts. I've actually worked with ghosts. Yeah, it was really cool. They're actually really nice. Okay. Yeah. Cassian, what do you have to say to that? 
Well, if, if ghosts did exist, I don't think they would be very nice. I mean, they're they're hiding out in rooms. They're watching you. They're very private. Oh, so now you've but, seeded the case well, that there saying, can I'm be ghosts. Well, I'm just saying that that there's a hole in this argument. It doesn't really make much sense. And also, I, I don't want to get I don't want to get into your personal life. But you said you're from Hollywood. Yeah. Well, that's, well, that's exactly. Yeah, I mean, that's they're, they're trying the, to make us established. Let's see some oh, uh, evidence to support your claim here. Ah, and we've got two Hollywood men right here. <laughs> Yeah, do they... Uh, and it looks like they're faking the creation of a spooky creature. Yeah, and do they look scared? No, because there's no ghosts in that room. So why would they be scared? And also, you know, Halloween, it was all made by, by Hollywood to, to sell this idea that there's ghosts and goblins and, and spooks. And, to sell know, tickets to Frankenstein and Dracula and exactly. things like that. Yeah. Interesting. And, interesting. And, and those don't exist. Have you ever seen a Frankenstein, a Dracula? Any of those? I can't say I have. So we're actually getting a pretty uh, surprisingly coherent argument here from Cassian, which is he's just shown us Hollywood types faking the creation of scary creatures. You say you're from Hollywood, you've seen ghosts, but maybe, maybe you didn't even know. Maybe these people you thought were ghosts were manufactured by this industry. Do you have any comment to that? Yeah, I actually do, because guess what? After we filmed the music video, we actually all went out for drinks. Um, after, because it was, we were working long hours, so we just wanted to let loose, like, everyone that was working. And that we was are gonna double the price of evidence and then look at this one right after. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and look at the end. Okay, we've got another Hollywood manufactured spooky creature. Now, I believe this is James Corden, the man who's mean to waitresses. Is that correct, or is this a real ghost? So, that is actually a real ghost. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that is actually a real ghost. You see, if you throw on some hair and flesh onto a ghost, you'll actually get a, a body oh, thank and you very much. a body oh, and face you. that looks a lot like James Corden from Cats. So um, once basically, and the ghost did tell me this when we went out for drinks, they said, yeah, basically once you die, your body sort of just turns into um, something similar to uh, the way James Corden looked, looked in the movie Cats. Oh. And you, okay. you all sort of have this uniform look, which is kind of nice, I think, because we spend so much of our time on Earth worrying about how we look, how we dress, and maybe we want to be perceived as unique or different. But when you're a ghost, you actually don't have to worry about that. You're on the same level playing field, which is looking as James Corden from the movie Cats. Okay, that's very yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Mr. Andor, yeah. let me ask you something. Are you concerned with the way you yeah. look? Uh, no, I look perfectly yeah. normal. Well, how come you didn't like want to talk about your monster hands before? Because this is a debate about ghosts. It has nothing to do with my monster hands. So then can we, can we, hey, can we get off of uh, Miss Coconuts over mm. here? Sorry, I don't mean to call. That's my mom. No, That's I'm sorry. My mom. I'm sorry. And I'm not my mom. It. Yes, I totally okay. understand. Let's go ahead and get as close in as we can on Cassian's hands. And let's just hold here for as long as we can. And you don't feel any... You feel totally fine with this. These are normal... Yeah, these are normal hands that I have. Okay. So... There's no insecurity. No. Okay. Not, not at all. I, li I like to show them off. Okay. So there you go. Is that, is Racist. That, let's keep okay, on the hands. Now, let's keep on. on the hands. Hey, come on. Not you, the white guy in the middle. I'm, just, I'm trying to be a mediator here. I'm, don't call I'm the mediator. I, I'm no, the mediator. I'm the mediator now. No, I'm the mediator. I'm becoming the mediator. Okay, right you now. are going to argue that ghosts are not real, and I will just say you did a good job of not being caught up in the way you look, okay. which a ghost would not be caught up in the way you look. So maybe we're again opening the idea that that we might think people are ghosts, but they could just be people who are a little different than us. Well, yes, and, and I mean, a minute ago, we were just saying a ghost, if you dress up a ghost, it looks like James Corden. <laughs> now, my, my thing is that if, there, if that were true, we would see way more James Cordons around because ghosts would like to dress up and we know that they, they desire to be with people. So we have to dress up to be around people. And if James, if there are more James Cordons, fine, ghosts exist, but there's only one. So that's, 
Interesting. In Very interesting. Wait, I have to say something. Yes, you have you have 40 seconds. <laughs> so the ghost actually told me that the only way that they can dress up is if somebody gives them clothes to wear. They have to be given it and given permission. Who told you all this stuff? The the ghosts that were on the thrilling Thriller, thriller dancing okay. with me. Thriller. And you don't think this was like two people screwing with you by any chance? No. Okay. No. And <laughs> that's okay. what they told me. That's a rule. They can only present themselves wearing clothes and hair if it's given to them. And how can you give that to a ghost if you don't know they're a ghost yet all right and that's timed and that's that's I, I, we're gonna vote i, I have a counterpoint no I you're out of time you're out of time shut up fine all right cassian caroline one of you is going to win this debate while we get that poll up i forgot to go get the things that you win so i'm gonna go grab those but it's looking like everyone's saying oh we got i believe her all of that checked out um runs off and hides all his clothes oh that's interesting uh, no, you, you don't have get to a be few more. scared. Uh, you don't have to hide your clothes. And uh, we let's get some other comments of how you feel they did while we get the voting. And go ahead and one for guy with Star Wars name, and two for lady who lied to on set. Lady who got lied to on set. And that's maybe tilting our. That's maybe. Adding our own little uh, biases into the poll, but hey. Don't, don't be swayed by Hollywood either, by the way. This is all created by Hollywood. Halloween is created by Hollywood. You mentioned that. Yeah, it's, it's all Hollywood. They made everything. They, what? they make up uh, everything. You think Hollywood makes movies too? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so, so you're going to tell me Hollywood makes... Uh, uh, the the video you worked on, the Michael video Jackson I Thriller, worked on. That, yeah, that was a Hollywood. That was production. a Hollywood production. Oh my god! Did you notice you were in Los Angeles during that? And somehow you win. Caroline, you win. <laughs> oh yes! Unbelievable! I'm sorry. Hollywood I, strikes I, again. Yeah, and you know what? Oh. There might be some Hollywood executives in the chat who are skewing that, but yeah, I hope so. I hope. So. Thank you so yes. much for coming. Uh, All right. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it was good to have you. It was so Very nice large meeting hands. you, nice Cassian. Meeting you. Thanks. Take well care. done, honestly. Thank you. Thank you. I have to go. Okay. Okay. All take right. Care. Um, so for your uh, get for your prize for winning, you can yeah. either get um, this block of solid gold. Okay. <laughs> or the mystery box. Um. So this block of solid gold valued at oh geez, ton of money. I mean, it must be tons. Or the mystery box. Okay. Um, well, I'm I'm gonna have to go with mystery box. All right. And you're gonna get the mystery box. I love this. Is surprising. three six mafias Oscar? You oh, win. Wow. Three six mafias Academy Award. Wow. wow. So you can go and that's and what is what do we say? Really awesome. What do we say about this? Thank this you. is a no. This oh. is a. Please? No, no, no. Uh, ma'am? No, no, no. It's like May the I? thing your family says. The thing your family says. Um, excuse me? No, no, no. The thing, you're, you're the thing your family um, says, it's like this is a something praise. Praise report. This is a praise report. This is a praise report. Yes. This is, this is a praise report. This is a praise report. 30% skill. 15%. This is a praise report. 90% something. Pleasure. And is this what you would do as a background singer? You'd be lip Yeah, I would be lip syncing. Thing? All right. Yeah, great. so that was an example of really that. Really great. Really impressive. I totally saw it. All right. Thank so we've you got a. Congratulations. To read the praise report. That's a praise report. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, Caroline Coconuts. Don't call her Miss Coconuts. That's her mother. Don't. And then that weird guy with the monster hands. I thought he did a really good job, but I'm just the guy who sits in the middle. All right, we're gonna get two new debaters up. I'm surprised we're really making it through so far. I have to say, maybe all of the complaining I do about this format has started to rub off on people and they are trying to make it run well. And to that, I am truly thankful, but I have a feeling it won't last very long. Let's get some more topics for our next debate. And praise it and report it, sis, that's right. Um, Attic or basement, which is spookier? Ooh, that, that would have been good to tie into the ghost. You know, it is close to Halloween. We could do a sort of whole spooky themed one. Um, 
Is Gaspar no a better director than Stanley Kubrick? I can think of one of the baiters on here who would like to get into that. The other I don't think would. Um, you know what? Let's go with the let's let's do a spooky. I'm feeling spooky. Let's do attic or basement. Which one's spookier? And maybe we can just sort of just make this whole app spooky. I'm kind of feeling that. It's almost Halloween. It's you know like let's kind of get into that. So let's go ahead and introduce our uh, two debaters. Great, great, <laughs> loving this already. Go ahead and introduce yourself, sir. Uh, hi, my name is Japri Dollhair. Japri Dollhair. Do yes. I have that right? Yes, Japri Dollhair. Japri Dollhair. And what do you do for work, sir? I just do a, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Uh, I'm an amateur accountant. Amateur accountant? Yeah. So, like, you want to be an accountant? I'm an aspiring accountant. And what do you do for, how do you make money? I do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Okay. So I'm not gonna put accountant, I'm gonna put a little bit of this and a little bit of that, if that's okay. That's all right. Because that's the closest I'm getting to your job. Here and there. Uh, Japri, thank you so much. Um, you wanna introduce yourself, sir? Sure thing, uh, good evening, I'm Arnel Pineda. Arnel Pineda? Arnel Pineda. And what do you do, sir? I'm the lead singer of Journey. You're the lead singer of Journey. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. Arnel Pineda? Lead singer of Journey. Yes, como está? Jap Japri Dollhair does a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Uh, you two are going to be debating which is spookier, the attic or the basement. Does that sound good to you guys? Uh, I thought this was like the voice. I was going to introduce no. a new song of mine, actually. No, please don't sing. You're going to be debating. <laughs> I'd like to hear some singing. No, no. Unless the topic <laughs> becomes who can sing better, we're not doing that, okay? okay. I hope that happens. Nope. Yeah, I, I, could, I could see that. Right, but it hasn't yet. Okay. It's only three dollars. It has not Come happened on. yet. Okay. Japri, you're yes. going to be arguing that the attic is scarier. Okay. And uh, Arnell, you're going to be arguing the, that basement. the basement is scarier. Oh, okay. So uh, Arnell, why don't you start us off? Okay. Uh, well, in the basement is where my Lolo had his diabetes attack. <laughs> that was pretty scary, Naman, because he uh, he did not bring the keys and should we get the, the door topic and the timer? Yeah, up? let's do that for sure. <laughs> let's get the topic and the timer up. But so we were talking about how your Lolo your Lolo had his uh, diabetes. My attack. Lolo had his diabetes attack in the basement, and uh, we got locked in for a while. And the only thing we can do was uh, what we thought was the Heimlich, which was just to hit and punch him as he, you know, writhed around on the ground. So that was one of the scariest moments of my life. It sounds really traumatizing. Oh, but also down there are records of, uh, of all the beautiful old musics. Uh, Earth, Wind and Fire. What's a Lolo? Lolo is a grandpa. And a Lola is a grandma. Hmm. So now you know. Are I you? call mine Ging Ging and Bum Bum. Okay. It's... We didn't we're not debating what that's you call my, your grandpa. That's my Lolo's Christian name, actually. Okay. Surprisingly. Ging Ging Bum Bum? Lolo Ging Ging, actually. Okay. Yes. We're not debating what you call your grandparents. That's not what this debate is. It could be, oh. but it's currently not. Right now we are debating which is spookier, the attic or the basement. You say the basement because you had a traumatic event happen to you in which you watched your Lolo die? Uh, did he die that day? No, but then he was pretty much, uh... Never the of, same. Kind of like staring into the middle distance for the rest of his life. That's very grim. That's true. Yes. Okay, do you have a counterpoint to that? Jeffrey? Sure. Whenever you're ready, you can just start, you can start talking. Okay, great. Uh, I don't think that the basement is a very scary place at all. My still alive wife, uh is very comfortable going into the basement all the time. She spends so much time down there. I noticed Not you that qualified anyone her by describing there. her as still alive. Yeah. And why did you feel a need to mention that? Well, because... Is it because we just talked about Lolo and he's dead? Yeah. Okay. Sure. That makes sense to me. You only meant to say still alive because we just said that Lolo was dead. Yeah, so Lolo, just like my bum bum. Yeah. yeah. Anyway... I think the basement is actually not very scary at all, and I don't think anyone should ever go into my basement. And if you were to go into my basement, you wouldn't find anything that would be scary or upsetting. Who sings better? 
We're not, we're not talking about that anymore. We're not going to get into that anymore. I had a lot of questions about that, but unfortunately, we can't get into that anymore. That's good. That's probably for the best. I do think this man's wife is dead inside of his basement, but... We'll never know. We'll never know. We cannot get into that. Now unless, we gotta sing. Unless we make that the topic. Okay. That's fair enough. And I think we know where we're going from here. Okay. Would you like to give us a better... Would you like to give us a... Whew. All right. Good evening, it's me, Arnel Pineda, lead singer of Journey, and I am here to debut the new song from Journey's newest album. The new song is called Don't Stop Believing Part 2. Okay, now we're mm. talking. So it's the same, basically. It's like... So do you want me to... It goes for a few bars, okay. Just a small town boy Living in South Detroit Wow He took the midnight train going anywhere Wow, there's only just one Just a janitor Oh, okay, here we go He works at the store He took the midnight train going anywhere just a shaggy dog <laughs> crawling out of the fog. He took the midnight train going anywhere. <laughs> just a silly oh, girl. <laughs> oh, she just needed to hurl. She took the midnight train <laughs> going anywhere. Chorus. What is the chorus? <laughs> Just a funny guy <laughs> Really didn't course? like to fly He took the midnight train going on and on and on Here we go, here we go <laughs> Now we're gonna hit Just a military no. <laughs> man His middle name, yes, was Stan He drove the midnight train going and Oh, we got the driver of the train now Surely that's the last one the train <laughs> crashed. <laughs> then they all died. Oh no. They took the midnight train going down to hell. Wow. That's a drunkated version. And if I if that I was, was on great. one of those shows, if I was on one of those shows, I'm doing I'm doing the thing. You're doing the spinning. I'm you press the, the button. button oh. Whoa! You yes. look. You, that's who. What you look like? Wow! That's crazy. You'd be surprised to see it's me yeah, looking like I, I do. Like, I never Whoa. thought he'd be Filipino. I never thought he would be <laughs> a, a small Filipino man who knew. seems exactly like the guy from Journey originally. Knew. Anyway, wow. that song, the new song version, "Don't Stop Believing" Part Two, is 22 minutes long. Wow. You can you can download it right now. And it's all just people getting on the train. The it's the entire train. manifesto of the train. Okay. Yes. Um, Before they all die. Jap Japri. Yes. You got a you got a tall order to fill here, but you're. you're I don't gonna, know how I'm gonna beat that. You're gonna try to <laughs> sing whatever song you'd like. Uh, you got about four minutes to feel free to use all of it because otherwise we're just gonna hear more lyrics from "Don't Stop Believing" too. Um, I could do that if you need. We can do that. Um, but ja Japri, whenever you're ready. I I'll sing. Um... Quando, quando, quando by Engelbert, Engelbert Humperdinck. Humperdinck. <laughs> All right, and if I could recommend, I would really try to be entertaining and stimulating for this, lest somebody change the topic to talking about your wife. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. I'm, not that that will be a problem for me. Okay. Great. Okay. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Darling, when will you be mine? <laughs> Tell me, quando, quando, quando? <laughs> You'll be everything to me. Uh, we're getting less lyrics on this one. <laughs> Tell me, quando, quando, quando? <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me quando, quando, quando. You mean everything to me. Uh, oh, 
we're debating. Please, we're my up, darling, oh, tell me I think when. we're rejecting you. That's a shame. Do, 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 do. Ah! I really wanted to get the chorus. I really wanted to get the chorus. Really wanted to get the chorus on that one. That sucks. I really wanted to get the... There's a new person now. Yeah. Do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Uh, yeah. My name's uh, Derek Bronkheist. Derek and... Bronkheist? Yeah. yeah. And what do you do, Derek? Um, I don't know if you could tell, but... You're strong? I oh. do... I am a barista. Ah, so. I could not tell. I, yeah. You're just a very strong man without a shirt. Um, yeah, yeah. Derek Bronkheist, you have to sing better than the lead singer of Journey. Are you ready? Yeah. And let's get that timer back up where we're at with that. I'm not sure. Uh, and thank you so much for coming. Whenever you're ready, whatever you'd like. Yeah, absolutely. Um, can I get a genre suggestion? I mean, honestly, I think you can pick whatever song you'd like. Do you have a Do you have a genre you you primarily rock in? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay, we got like, Journey um... is a suggestion. <laughs> you could sing one of my songs. Okay. I don't mind. Uh, I'm having a wonderful time on Talkbite right now. Let's That's do great it. To have you. 90s pop, I feel like. I think we're going to want to hear Don't Stop Believing. Okay. If you know any of it. Okay. And you can do Don't Stop Believing one or two. Okay, I'll, I choose one. Okay. Um, <laughs> don't stop believing. Don't stop believing. If you want to stop, I beg you, don't. Don't stop. That's a good voice. Please. I don't want you to stop believing. If you stop, just please don't. Wow. Don't stop. And he, he, is, he can't believe it. Arnell is Arnell is completely. I am blabbergast. Right. Let's get a shot of Arnell because he is. <laughs> Don't stop. Oh my goodness. I beg you. I'm on my knees. My hands are clasped together like prayer hands. Hands. I pray to wow. God or. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, whatever you pray to, and I beg him to make you never stop believing. Wow. Wow. So tough to choose. Derek, that was so beautiful. Let's get the poll up. Do you know how I became the lead singer of Journey? Uh, no, but I'd love to know. I was picked from a YouTube audition. This is real, and this is true, and I'm pretty sure it's on YouTube still. Wow. Would you like to be the second singer of Journey with me? Wow. What? You've just <laughs> given the words of Don't Stop Believing One so much weight and so much heft. I feel so moved. I feel like I have to go to the bathroom, and I feel like I have to go to church. So I would, I would really like for you to meet the rest of the boys and come on a journey to Studio City where we all hang out. We live in the same house. Wow. This is really hard because I love my job. I work at the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf and wow. I'm slinging espresso shots. Understandable. Is there any way that you could, you know, do both somehow? You take less shift at the coffee bean and you just, you know, go I don't want to get in the way of somebody's passions. Arnell's going to be the main one. You're just going to be backing him up. It's if true. I'm famous, then everybody will be following mm. me and in my face when I'm making coffee. So unless we can agree to some sort of Hannah Montana thing, maybe... Oh, please. Tyler Montana could be my... You just, Alternate name? That's perfect. You just figured it out right now. That's perfect. <laughs> if you want to be Tyler Montana for me and Journey, you are more than welcome to. Okay. But if you wish to be doing the foam art, the latte foam art. If, well, I think if there's a way I can do, do both. both. You're going to do both. If I can do both. you're going to have an alter ego who is the yeah. second singer of Journey. Yeah. Hey. This is great. And, Ar and Arnell, you won there? the debate. What? Oh! Something. But Derek, I wow. wouldn't be yeah, worried just go. about it. Oh, and thank you so much, Jay Riley. Let's go ahead and get those. Uh, let's get the names of those companies. And I wouldn't beat yourself up about it, uh, Derek, because your you know your life 
is you're now going to hang out in a Studio City apartment with a bunch of guys who are in Journey. It's yeah. going to be nothing but big dubs for you at this point. It sounds really cool, honestly. Thank big you. Tubs? <laughs> big tubs? Can big I tubs? Can I get wow. with, with a dick tub? We have dick tubs. Oh. It's where we stand and take showers together. It's a brotherhood journey is. Uh, yeah, we've all done that. We've all, right. all done that. Thank you so much, both of you, for coming. Uh, Arnell, I'm going to give you your prize. Um, do you want a solid brick of gold? Oh! Or do you want what's in the mystery box? I will take the mystery box. All right, and the mystery box is a smaller amount of money. Okay! You're not supposed to take the mystery box every time. Wow. Yeah, could have had the wow, whole look at gold. me. Now you just get a smaller amount of money. Just a greedy boy! There you go. Going to the bank right now! There you go. I'll take the midnight train going everywhere! Wow, ooh, they're duetting, they're duetting. It's perfect, it feels so good. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Internet Crow. Just right, a museum you. curator! Is that another person on the train? Born around somewhere in the equator! <laughs> He took the midnight train going anywhere. Really great, really great stuff. Great work. I'll both see you soon, Derek. Thank you. Kind of sad when you realize they all crash on that train. It's a sad thing for him to list all those people, knowing they're all going to crash on that train. And do we have the name? Let's. I guess we'll give it a second on Internet Crow um, to get their sponsor, and then will we get the name? I think that's what it's going to be, and then we're going to probably cut to the commercial. I think that's going to be good. That's going to be good timing-wise. And we'll come back and we'll do some more debates. Folks, just sort of happened. It's spooky theme today. It's going to be what it is. Now, that ended up getting completely different and was just basically a sing-off. And I actually found that to be really entertaining and nice. Um, okay, so the new ones are Duncan McAuchener for Senate. <laughs> Uh, camel Towing <laughs> Removal Service. Ah, I see what you did there. Jeffrey Pepsi No Relation LLC. And thank you so much to our to our generous backers. I didn't think Jeffrey Pepsi was related to anybody else, but now I'm a hundred percent sure. Um, all right, so I think we're gonna go see a couple commercials from those people, those companies, those corporations. And um, after that, we'll be back with more talk bite. So thank you so much, everyone, for following along with us. And uh, I'll, we'll be right back. Everybody, uh, I, I know how this sounds. You're seeing the name on our billboards, you're seeing the name outside of our office, and you're thinking to yourself, who are these jokers, right? Well, my actual birth name, my Christian name, is Michael Hawk, but we wanted to save some money on the sign, and so I'm officially Mike Hawk, DDS. Now, if you say this out loud, it sounds eh, like, a, like a, a colloquial term. Uh, referring to one's member. But I can assure you, we are a professional uh, outfit. We, we practice dentistry just like everybody else with a normal, not funny name. So there's no need to, you know, to make light of the thing, you know. We, uh, we're, we're, we're bigger than that. I mean, we're, 
We're, we're, we're hard at work. I mean, uh, we're, mm, huh, hmm. We are, we are shooting for the st no, 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 we, hmm, hmm, what are, what are we gonna, what are we gonna say? It's not gonna sound like something We're nodding these teeth. What, you wanna try again? What's that? We're nodding on these teeth. <laughs> That's even more salacious than oh, we're the, trying not to. We're not sure, we're not, we're trying to be, uh, we're trying to change our end. coming into your mouth. No, 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 no. Your chompers? Oh, are, yes. Your chompers are going to be pearly white. Like we're, it is. we're going to come into your mouth and fix your. Well, no, now hold on a minute, fellas. What? That's not. That's count. That's running counter to our initial impetus for making this ad, which was to not have anything penile. Our tools will be like a penis and they will go in your mouth. How's that? You, you were so good in the car on the way here. You were so I'm good just, in the car. I'm just messing around. Okay, but now you're right, but we, we can't cut. Hi, I'm TV's David Nivens. Thanks so much for speaking with me today. Here at David Nivens Hard Cock Sock Cafe, we just make regular coffee. I might have I might have got you startled there with the name for a second, but don't worry. It's just a regular old coffee shop. Look behind me. We got muffins and shit. We got all this stuff. Look at that menu. That's a normal menu. The name is provocative, intentionally. But there's nothing going on here. It's just a regular old coffee shop. We do great stuff. We do normal stuff here. Muffins, I mentioned that already. Coffee, I mentioned that already too. What else do you need? So work on a screenplay. Hell, just hang out. Go on a first date here. Go on a second date here. Maybe not a third date. At that point, you don't really want to be in a coffee shop anymore. Oh, hey, this is my friend. I'm gonna come! Land Ho. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Dan T. Traveler, America's favorite traveler. And when I'm in the States, I like to vote. I think you should vote for Duncan McCockiner for Senate this year. They're going to get the job done. You can guarantee it. Okay, Land Ho. What do you like about him? That was what? great. That was great, buddy. That was really good. Thank, Thank you. you. Was that okay? Yeah, that was good. All right, Duncan, huh? are we, do we still have the plans later? Oh, God. You know, let's. Oh, the thing where we're going to get what? Yeah. And you can't cut, guys.
Oh, I didn't see you there. Hello, I'm Jeffrey Pepsi. You may be wondering what I'm, uh, you may be wondering what I'm doing in my domicile. Hold on, I'm getting comfortable. You may be wondering what I do. All right, Jeff. You may be wondering what I'm doing. We can't cut. I need to take my shoes off and be comfortable and nice and likable. I don't see your shoes in the shot. Well, this is a medium? It's a medium. Well, I'm my old Mr. Rogers bit's fucked. Jesus. I can't cut, Jeffrey. You gotta oh. keep going. Oh, it's a Mr. Rogers bit. I run a daycare center in my basement. Oh. So you can come here. I give children tattoos if they want. <laughs> and uh, generally give them the experience of being an adult that they hear about from their parents. But don't get to experience for another 18 years. And are you related to Pepsi? Absolutely not. So come to my basement. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Welcome back to Talk Fight. We've, uh, you good? Huh? We've been doing a lot, we've been learning a lot. We've been having fun, we've been singing, and we've been debating. It's time to get back into that. Now, we've sort of decided impromptu here that we're going to be making this a spooky themed one. So thank you so much for all the suggestions that have come in. If you had a non-spooky one, save it, unless it was bad and like dick and ball stuff. I've said I don't want that shit. Um, but save it for the next time we do this and we'll get it again. In the meantime, yikes, five ads, really? This channel really gone corp. Hey, look, we gotta pay the bills, okay? We gotta pay the bills. The ENS boys, they, they eat so much Taco Bell, these guys. After every show, like three of them are going to Taco Bell. Nacho fries are back! And if, any, and if anyone back. knows anyone at Taco Bell, we would love to be sponsored by them in exchange for getting free tacos whenever we want. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's not relevant. We need to get some spooky suggestions, so go ahead and give them. Uh, is immortality a blessing or a curse? Ooh, it's both spooky and thought-provoking. Um, oh, the Luke Man with the raid. Thank you so much, the Luke Man. Shout out the Luke Man. Everyone go ahead and give him a follow, check him out. Um, what is the best candy to put razor blades in? Very spooky, very spooky. Uh, what exactly is a ghoul? Was the monster mash really a graveyard smash? Oh, that's very interesting. Which is brew, evil potion or foot tonic? Vampires versus werewolves. Who would win? Ah, that would be interesting to, uh, how many guns could Frankenstein hold? Interesting, interesting. <laughs> I do like that. Um, hmm, hey, we already took Fulu's suggestions, so I don't want to, uh, double dip there, but, ah, are vampires sexy? That's very good. Are vampires sexy? Now, when I was in high school and Twilight was very much the rage, a lot of people said I looked like a vampire in a mean way. But some people say vampires are actually very sexy, like that one guy from Good Time. So, we're gonna get into that here, tonight, on Talk Fight. Let's bring out our next two debaters. And great. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Uh, do you wanna start us off here? Yes. My name is Masha Shuhorn, and I'm the oldest blackjack dealer in this side of the Mississippi. You're the old Ma Marsha Sean? Masha Shuhorn. Marsha Shuhorn. Yes. Marsha Shoehorn, oldest blackjack dealer on this side of the Mississippi, and there's no need to say which side that is because we all know it. Yes. Great. Thank you. Uh, thanks so much for joining us, Marsha. Um, 
You want to introduce yourself? Ah, uh, fuck yeah, dude. It's fucking time. I am ready to go. This is the show where you launch people into space, yeah? Maybe. Um, it seems like like 90%. I watch this show a lot. I've, Today, I've, it's been way long less than Long time 90. viewer, first time appearance. They wouldn't let me into NASA because I don't talk good. But this... What's your name? Does it matter? If yes. I say, if I tell you, then... Like, they, I really wouldn't bank on you getting ejected. If I tell you, then they form an attachment to me. Okay, and they won't here's the other thing. Me. Once you reveal what you want, they won't give it to you out of spite. That's not true. Yes. That's not true. It is true. Why would that be true? It is Look, true. I have watched this show. I've watched all 525 episodes of this. I've watched all 525 episodes of this. I know exactly what I need to say to get ejected quick. Okay. okay. I'm nervous about that. Don't I'm worry. Really nervous about, about no, that. why would you worry? All right, we don't know this guy's name or what he does, but he wants to get ejected. All right, Marsha, so you're going to be arguing that vampires so are sexy. Guy, oh you're going to be arguing they're not. Marsha, whenever do, you're ready. I'm going to do over the pants stuff with an alien. With an okay. alien when Please, I get up there. Course. Yes. All yes. right, Marsha, whenever yes. you're ready, get us started. Which side did you say I was you're on? You're saying that they are sexy. Okay. And I start now. Yes. Okay. I think vampires are very sexy because they have really sharp teeth. So they can, <laughs> you know, um, poke a hole. If you need, um, if you buy, um, like, um, an animal and you want to surprise your loved one for Christmas and you need to, to poke some holes in the box, but because you went to the pet store on Christmas Day, you forgot to bring scissors or something sharp. Oh, hang on. Sorry, Marshall. You're getting ejected. Oh no! no. Wait, wait, what? She is getting ejected? Oh, is that really how it works? No, no, no! I'm on the right. Eject all right, me! All right, we're gonna eject oh, you. Oh, thank God! We're gonna eject big you. Big talk, big talk from David Nibbins, fucking dork ass bitch. All right, you get don't out know. Here. You don't know. <laughs> I know these people here. better than you do. Get out of here! Let's fucking go! And there we go. You know. All right, that was quick. Let's get another person out here. Marsha, you were saying that vampires are sexy because they can poke holes in boxes of animals when you buy them late on Christmas and don't have time to get a proper box with the animals. Required. Oh, that was not nearly high enough. What the fuck? That was not high enough. No, I came right back no. down. No. All right. You got to do it again. Order. You got to do it Executive again. Executive order. Everything now show. Eject. Eject. We don't need the money. No, 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 no. Do You're it again. Gone. Do it again. Oh, yes. Fuck yeah. All right. Let's get another per- Nope, I'm seeing it. Nope, nope. Do One it more time. Do it One again. One more time. Woo! All right. <laughs> Someone hold him. Someone physically restrain him. Okay, let's get another guy who doesn't look like him out here. All right, woo! There we go. <laughs> yes, there All we right. go. All right, yay! Oh. Had to come from the wrong side, but it's All okay. All right, that's okay. <laughs> What's going How on, How are you doing? Guys? Let's introduce this guy. <laughs> hey, I'm Curly Toes. I'm a prop comic. How you doing? Hey, you ever, you ever see one of these before? You ever see one of these before? No, I, what I'm is walking, that? I'm walking my, my, my pet coat hanger here. I'm walking my pet coat. You ever see that? I, I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. I'm walking. I've certainly hey, never seen good that. Good to see you, pet. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, oh, man. What about one of these? You ever see one of these? Is that the cheese hat? It's a cheese hat. I have seen hey, that, you actually. Eat these. You don't put these on your head. What are you going to do with that in your head? I have. You know, it's all right. ridiculous. I'm What's sorry. happening here? Carl, <laughs> Carl. What's happening? Carl, Carl. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> really good stuff, but slow down. What? I, I'm just I'm just pointing out the obvious. Look at it. If you are, hat. you're in a way pointing out the obvious using props to, to make us think about things we never what? noticed. Hey, you just woke up my felt. pet. You just woke up my pet. Is that the hanger. You just woke up. <laughs> okay. Hey, he's Carl. trying to sleep. Carl. He's trying to sleep. He sleeps for twelve hours down. a day. <laughs> slow all down. Right. All right. All right. Yeah, you have to debate. You have to argue that vampires are not sexy. Now. I was just talking to Marsha about how vampires are sexy because if you're buying a live animal as a gift on Christmas but you do it too close to Christmas and you don't have time to get a proper box for it, your vampire friend or lover can bite holes into the box to allow the animal to breathe before it's opened on Christmas Day. Am I right about that, Marsha? Yes, All right. because no one wants to open a box of a dead animal on Christmas Day because they didn't get any air. All right. Thank you so much. That's okay. So, uh, Carl, what is your counter argument? Well, if, I saw, if I woke up on Christmas Day <laughs> and my pet was dead, I'd be like, oh, no, what happened? I'm crying. I'm crying. Anyway, have you seen one of these? Yeah, you showed me that already. All right. I'm just making sure. All right. The vampires, they're not sexy. They bite. They bite people. I don't think biting is very sexy. So Some you know, people so say biting me. is sexy. Oh, yeah. Well, so sue me. 
That's what I'm saying. Okay, so you're just saying your opinion, like you're not really trying to, you're, you're supposed to be trying to argue in a way that would make everyone agree with you. You're not just supposed to say, well, my personal opinion is that they're not. Okay, well, here's the thing. If, I'm, if vampires were sexy, okay, let's say vampires are sexy, okay, and let's say they're like, they're like a pet and you want to walk it. What mm -hmm. are you going to do? You're going to like, you're going to get a okay, leash? You're, you're going to put a leash like around that. it? Is that sexy? <laughs> is that sexy? Putting a leash around a vampire? No. Uh, some not... people would say rope stuff. I'm, again, I'm not really trying to get into this, but I, I, everything you're explaining so far, there's definitely people who will find these things sexy. Okay, okay. I'll take it seriously. I'll take it seriously, okay? okay? <laughs> I very rarely take things seriously, but okay, let's let's figure this out. So on, on, Chris, on Christmas morning, you say yeah. there was a box. You open yeah. the box, right? Yeah. And what, what's inside? Is it some kind of crazy prop or just no, like... No, it would okay. be like a live animal. Okay, a, a live animal. Okay, like that's cat. good. It's not dead. Yeah. We don't want a dead animal. And it's not dead because of the vampire. Okay, okay. I, I see the point. I kind of, I'm, I'm sort of, I'm getting there. Uh, okay, vampires are not sexy, and I'll tell you why, okay? We're going to get some evidence to support your claim okay, right here. Okay, yeah. Here we go. And this is a uh, person sitting in a wood chipper? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, it's another prop I have. And that's a prop? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen one of these things? A wood chipper. Yeah, usually you use them for wood. Uh -huh. Then you put a person inside. Well, next, what is that? A human chopper? A human? What is that? I guess it would be a human chipper in yeah, that Yeah, a human yeah. chipper. Yeah, that's right. So anyway, about the vampires. <laughs> Wait, so yeah, <laughs> tie that into vampires not being sexy. Okay, well, if vampires were sexy, they would have saved that, that poor woman from going into the... the Human chipper. How okay, about that? yeah, because if because they eat them, they would live. Heroes. Or okay. The, the heroes are sexy. Okay. You know, you, you mm -hmm. look at you know you look at a movie. The hero is always the sexy one. He's always like ripped and he's strong and like. Marsha, what do you have to say? Wait, I, I, have you seen one of these I, before? Yeah, have, I've seen it three I mean, times what, just in this debate. Okay, but I've I'm also just saying. seen it at football games. Okay, Marsha, okay, what do you have to say to the the notion that heroes are sexy, and vampires aren't heroes? <laughs> What are you talking about? Vampires aren't heroes. I mean, come on. Uh, ever heard of, ever heard of um, True Love Twilight? Ever heard of that? Yes. You know, my Miranda. Yeah. But those are all villains, though. They're all villains. Are they? No. I, th I, th I think so. I mean, are they biting people on the neck? I think they're. I mean, what is uh, what does my pet have to say? Hey. <laughs> ever heard of a vegetarian vampire? They don't have to kill people. Is that a real thing from Twilight? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because. The vampire Edward Cullen's family, they they only eat um, animals. We're gonna get some, well that's not a veg, if you eat like animals, us. okay. That's fair, but we're not, okay. So now humans, so now we can't be heroes? I guess that's a very interesting point. And does this quote? <laughs> okay, so the dildo of consequences rarely arrives Lube. Man, really gross. Okay. Um, I couldn't have said it better myself. If, if you, you know the truth. You want to know the truth? That's what this whole show's about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, guess what? Sometimes the truth it's gonna it's gonna fuck you in the ass. Okay. <laughs> sometimes, hey, what's up? Sometimes the truth it's gonna. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, it's time. It's gonna get in the ass, and sometimes you don't have time to get it all prepared down there. Okay. And that's her street. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. And uh, Carl, do you have a response to that? Yeah, Thank you sure very I much, do. Sarah I mean, Riley. First of all, have you, have you seen one of these things? That's before? a gun. Yeah, okay. I've seen that. That's a gun. Okay. I'm gonna rob you, right? Am I right? It's like one of those kind of situations. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I have a bulletproof vest on. I don't know if that's bulletproof, but okay. That's a, good, that's a, that's a funny, uh, that's a funny prop. Is, I gotta no, say. what's the sort of comedic <laughs> tilt to that? Well, it, it's, I mean, I mean, when was the last time you had a gun pointed at you? I mean, what is Pretty what's often, it? honestly. Oh, wow. yeah. On this show, almost every episode. Well, man. okay, well, it's not that funny to you, but that's your opinion. I think it's a hilarious. You think it'd be funny to have a gun well, pointed at you? You bring a gun to a debate? I mean... Uh, Again, this is a very common thing that happens here, okay, but I, I well, guess it is okay, funny. People okay. do seem to think okay, it's funny. Okay, okay, well, uh, you know, I, I think my pet disagrees. And that's your pet? I uh, just got to take it for hanger. a walk. <laughs> I'm going to take my pet for a walk, my pet coat hanger. Yeah! Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. Woo! What's her name? Oh, it's Cody. Oh, oh my co hanger. Yeah, yeah, Cody, Cody. You got it. Yeah. Is it code E? 
Like, oh, you know fuck. All right. Luckily, like, we only have like 10 seconds. All right. Dicks or balls? Carl, you're going to be dicks. Uh, Marsha, you're going to be balls. You have very little time here, so let's try to be super quick. Uh, Carl, dicks, go. I, I'm pro dicks. You're pro dicks. Well, you gotta, over if balls. you don't have a dick, then where are the balls gonna go? I mean, you gotta have a dick first, and then the balls <laughs> Is go underneath. That true. Okay. Yeah, you gotta have a dick first. I mean, come on. You, look at this thing. Okay. Okay. Marsha, you have uh, 17 seconds. Okay. Um. So simply put, if you like math like me, this is what will make sense. <laughs> dick one, balls two. Okay. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Good. Fine. Any whatever. Any to that, girl? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you need a dick to have balls, so well, that's, that's what fine. I have to say, okay? I, I, that I, is your opinion. I really uh, don't understand the logic behind you need a dick to have balls, but let's get the poll up. Stop so or I shoot, none the, of I that shoot stuff, Cody. Stop none of that I shoot stuff Cody. about vampires. This has nothing to do with vampires. Who argued better, dick or balls? That's all we're trying to get to the bottom of here. So let's get Carl and Marsha up in this poll, and we will see who argued it better, dick or balls. Where did my... I always, the prizes always go away. Give me one second. Nobody move. Everybody be cool. Carl, I, have you done a show on this side of the Mississippi? I feel like I've seen your stuff. I think I've seen, I've seen you My too. My stuff? I've seen your stuff in the, in the Las Vegas, right? You seen this? I've seen that before. That's great. That's a good one. That's a good, hey, have you seen one of these before? Yeah. Have you seen one of those? On a cracker or two. like, what? You're supposed to? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. But as a hat? Oh. Nah, come on. It's uh, ridiculous. What? It's ridiculous. This guy's crazy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. With this guy. Thank you very much. Thank the you. What am I oh, you can see me, you can see oh me every God. Friday night. You can see me every Friday night at the, at the Chuckle Factory. Oh so. All right. Thank I think you. we're good Thank to you. close out this poll. Marsha, you win. Ah, two, ah, two is greater than shoot. one. That's ah, that's shoot. how it goes. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. That's that's how it goes. Bro. Carl, thanks so much for coming. Sure thing. Oh, you don't take forget a walk? to take your pet you with take you a on the way okay. out. Wild guy over <laughs> here. Have you ever seen someone walk a coat hanger before? Because now I'm after about to today, do it. I can say yes. I'm about to do. It. Oh what? Don't don't sniff okay. his butt. Don't okay. sniff his butt. All right. <laughs> don't don't sniff his right. butt. Don't. Uh, okay. Marsha, your yeah. prize is once again. Full solid brick of gold or the mystery box? Um, I'll take the gold. I think as a blackjack dealer, I feel like you know value, you know money. All right. Yes, I do. Thank Great. you very much. Take care, Marsha. Great Bye. work. All right. And we've got, and I'm pregnant in the chat. That's okay. Uh, I thought he would have more props, to be honest. I did too. It seemed like he was leaning pretty heavily on the coat hanger, but it was very funny. Um, Have you seen one of these yeah. Oh, he's either, right? talking to someone that's crafty. Okay. Um, <laughs> great. So that was another successful debate. Um, we, we learned a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and get a spooky topic. And uh, we will uh, start debating it with our next two. We're learning a lot today. And thank you so much to our sponsors. Thank you so much to everyone who's following along. Uh, and let's go ahead and get, yes, thank you to all of those people. Um, did we truly learn anything? And sure, why not? I learned, uh, that you could walk a coat hanger on a leash. I learned, yeah, exactly. We learned about dick one, balls two. Uh, is murder okay when it's performed by the state? That, that is spooky for sure. Uh, is hell real and is it beneath our feet? Spooky for sure. <laughs> Ghouls versus goblins. Uh, yeah, you know what? Because I like, it's, there's also an existential tilt to hell one. So we're going to go with, is hell real? And we don't need to do the is it beneath, I, it's, I think it's applied, yeah, yeah it's beneath us. Um, hell, the place where bad people go after they die and everything's even, is really mean and bad for them. Is it real or do people just die? And it doesn't matter if they're bad, because they're just going to be dead, like everyone, even if you're good. What is the what is the true fate that awaits us all after we die? Is it heaven-hell dichotomy, or is it just, nope, doesn't matter what you did, you're dead now. Let's go ahead and introduce our next two people. Great, loving these two. Uh, sir, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, okay. Hi, hey, everybody, my name is Nico. <laughs> I'm a club promoter at the big club in Warsaw named Baba Yaga. 
Okay. We have a Polish club promoter here named Nico. Uh, thank well, you. this is going to be a breeze for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> What's your name, sir? It's gonna be a walk. I'm Carlo Spearmint. I think I need no introduction. Carlo Spearmint? Carlo Spearmint. That's me. Hi there. 600 times I've been a guest on this program and I've never lost a debate once. What do you do for work again? Uh, this is my, I'm a professional pundit. I come we in. We pay you? Yes, of course. Well, I'm paid by a number of debate shows, similar debate shows. I, uh, for a time I was on the, um, hmm, I was on Crossfire. I was on a few other programs. Um, you know, normal, normal program. And we're getting more like Noam Chomsky over here. Oh. Interesting point. <laughs> well, goodness gracious, Noam and I go back a long time. Okay. We're good friends. And that's not what we're debating. So let's go ahead and get the timer up. Uh, Nico, you're going to be arguing that hell is real. Okay, great. And Carlos, you're going to be arguing it is not. It's going to be a layup for me. Okay. Go layup. ahead, Nico. Look at this Nico. Look at this Whenever you're ready. Okay. Hell is real because one time when I do a promotion for a club, it's crazy in there. So many men, so many women all have such amazing, great time. But then when the party ends, that's when you know you in hell. What? What do you mean by that? Can you can you expand on that a little bit? Gosh, I'm gonna dunk on this motherfucker so hard. When you're I having a great Carlos. party in Baba Yaga, everybody have a great time. Bottle pop, smoke a crack, smoke a meth, have a sex, but then some time come up at the end of the night, everybody feel like a shit. Now that is what we call a real hell. Ah, so hell is a place on earth and it's when you wake up after a night of partying at Baba Yaga. Yeah! And so if you can experience that hell, it must be real. Any response to that, Mr. Spearman? He, he pissed himself. Did you kiss yourself, Nico? Yeah. Okay. And we're going to get some evidence. I rest my case. We're going to get some evidence. This guy pissed his pants. Carlos. Hmm? We're going to get some evidence. It's Carlo. I've been on the show 600 times, David. That's my evidence. You're very forgettable. Talk about. Wow, goodness. Talk about what you mean by that, Nico. Here's one to This is another type of hell. I call this hell because you not get fucked. When you don't have any sex, what? sometimes you turn into incel. You become a video game man, and you go online, you do say slurs to people because you're not having sex with beautiful women or men. That is a t its own type of hell in a way. Oh wow, I didn't realize these, those were all very hurtful. Um, okay, so hellish signs. Okay, Carlos. It's, I swear on my life, Fine. on my mother's Mr. grave, Spearman. David. Mr. Spearman. It's Carlo. Mr. Spearman. You have yet to give me any reason to believe that hell is not real. Well, you know how these debates go. I come in, I sort of, I do this with my glasses, I say that the other person I'm debating has pissed themselves or shit themselves, and then I just sit here. I kind of let the rest of the debate play itself There's, out. You That's can't piss myself. You can't keep getting away with that. There's no way you're going to keep getting uh, away with that. Tell that to all 600 times I've come on this program and won. All right, we'll debates. see about that. So and I always it. choose the mystery box. That's it. Every single time I choose the you're mystery box. You're done. That's all I've got. Okay, Nico, counter argument to that. What are you, are you dodging bullets? Is that the idea? Are you doing karate? What's happening right now? I'm pretending how I am feeling when sometimes I'm in a club and it's a crazy night. Everybody do a drug. Everybody do a methamphetamine or a fentanyl. Everybody having a crazy good time, but sometimes it get a little bit too crazy. That's when I have to do self defense. This is your fighting. Please don't do that. Please so, don't do that. So this is all very cool looking. I'm not gonna deny that. That's sick. For me, that's that sick is as a fuck. personal hell, even though it is badass and sick. I'm not gonna deny that. I'm gonna guess and that. I'm gonna say that's sick as hell. But here's the truth. He's got a thin stream of urine pooling around his let his you right foot. I already said that. I know, but I'm reiterating. That's me doubling down. That's me adding additional evidence to my case. Okay. Do I do I debase myself and a actually answer the question to this debate? Is that, is One that what I'm doing? One person's asking if we could see your moves comparatively. <sighs> okay, you want to see my move? You want to see my move out there, America? Is it pointing and going as the guy's shit? P U, P U. This guy stinks. He probably t could do a uh, number two in his pants. And you did? Why did you t <laughs> see? Yeah, see. <laughs> Okay. Lucky I rest you, my case. You, you, a you got second lucky time. today. I, will I rest say. my case a second time. We all got lucky tonight. <laughs> Nico, you guys want to have sex after this? Nope. 
Okay. I'm all good, thank you. Okay. Nico. I've got an undergrad that I'm courting right now, so. Oh, God. Ugh. We're gonna figure that out later. Do either of you want to talk about supposed hell? Supposed to meet her in her door. I would love to talk about hell. Okay. One time when I was at the Baba Yaga, a beautiful woman came in. Hair very long, like a dinosaur's hair. Or like a. What do you call it? Not a dinosaur. What do you call it? I don't um, know. A horse. A very long hair, like a horse. Big, thick muscle. She come in, she said, Nico, I want you. Outside right now. I said, I'm working at Baba Yaga. I can't do that right now. There's so many people inside. Do crack cocaine. Do methamphetamine. Do uh, do like a, uh, what is it called? When you see the little tiny guys? What? DMT. Okay. Everybody having a crazy <laughs> time inside the club. Everyone. She said, come out to outside. I said, okay. But then I took a DMT. Now I'm, I'm in another dimension and I'm seeing the guy, you know, with the red guy, the devil. Yeah. So you took DMT and you saw the devil. I Please saw don't. Him. I think Carlo's jacking off, so let's not cut to him. Let's not cut. Hey, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, this guy that. knows. You would have a good time at Baba Yaga. I finished. His name is actually. So you can cut to me because I finished. Vidichli Kirschvig. But everybody calls him. That's Nico. actually true. My name has only consonants. That's pretty cool. All right, uh, Carlo, you're not gonna add anything, right? Just go and piss himself. And I mean, what do you think, David? Dealer's choice. Should I? Should I? Should I uh, clarify my t my take on this topic? I don't think so. If you're just gonna say the same fucking thing over. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Now hold on a minute. Oh, whoa, whoa! Hey, whoa! Now hold on a minute. Oh, whoa! Hang on. We're gonna see some evidence. We're gonna see some evidence. <laughs> okay. Now this is my kind of evidence. This is uh, tonight. I will come. But it says, wait. Go back. Go back. Cry until. The morning! And why would you be doing that? Is it your Because hell? we're going to Baba Yaga after this! <laughs> That's a demonstration. We got three and a half minutes left in this topic. I don't know where you both want to go. I feel more. like I talked about hell quite a bit. <laughs> I think so too. I don't know what I feel else. Like I did my. I feel like you were gonna just keep saying he pissed himself. My thing was You've very. You've been talking about yeah. hell. I can do more. All sure, right. Sure. Go do some more. No, okay, no, no. Hey, got. look, it's fine. All right. I'll, I'll, t I'll talk about the topic. Okay. I so rarely have had to do this, David. You know this. I really don't remember you. 600 times I've been on the show, I've maybe addressed the topic directly. People get ejected a so dozen much times, here. It's right. so hard to keep I've track. never been ejected either. That's another thing to think about. I'll talk about the topic, all right? Hell is fake. Hell Fuck is... You. Whoa. Nico. This is a debate. Nico, you just... <laughs> no, Nico. Not allowed to say fuck you? No, that's Nico. not how you debate. Nico, that's not... You have to be professional when you come on Talk Fight. Okay, sorry. Nico, you have Fuck to. Fuck you! No, you're, you're saying he Nico. just pissed himself. You're both doing ad hominem attacks that have nothing to do with the topic at hand. But I'm not saying fuck, David. I would never say fuck. I guess. But you said shit himself. Hang Check on, out my evidence. That's yeah, not the Nico's same. Evidence. That's not the same. This is my evidence. Let's see it. Oh. And here it is. What could this be? <laughs> now that. That's what you look like when you don't have sex. Remember a minute ago when I say. If you don't have sex with a beautiful man or beautiful woman, becoming an incel, doing video game all day, every day, then you turn into a Skeletron. Okay, that's spooky. You're outside, you homeless because you don't have house, <laughs> you spend all your money on video game, talk to other people who never have sex, then you're become, they all are become Skeletron, and then you have an unfulfilled life. And, and that skeleton, is hell. And that is hell. That is a personal hell. What do you say to that? This actually vaguely reminds me of some evidence that was presented all the way back in episode 721. Back, you know, we've done it. Was I the host for that? 1,200 episodes? Was I the host for that? 1,300 episodes? I don't, again, I don't really keep track. 1,321. I I'll remember this. Episode 721. They, they somebody came in with a very similar bit of evidence. So, he's plagiarizing. <laughs> so, by default, I'd I say have no I have evidence. Wins. Okay. Now, this how does he, I'm too. the one talking. I have evidence. Nah, this it's one's my mine. evidence. <laughs> this one's mine. 
Okay, this explain this that then, Nico. Family member? No, these guys. Oh, these guys. These guys are regulars at Baba Yaga. If you will this not. This is three believe, separate guys? This is three. These are three brothers. And you will not believe when these guys go into club, they are 15 years old. When they no. come out of Baba Yaga, this is what they look like. Wow, so maybe Baba Yaga is a portal to hell. In a way, it's not. It's, it's like a, what do they call it, a limbo? Limbo? Lumbo? Limbo. Limbo. It's kind of like a limbo. Like a purgatory state. And if you go in and you 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 seize the night, then you go transcend, you become and go to heaven. But if you do not have the right good time in Baba Yaga, you come out look like a crazy old fucking man. David, they were on the show. They were debating Those on the show. Guys? <laughs> You, I look, man. I've been doing this job a long time. I show up, I park my car, I walk in, I go, "We ready for talk fight?" I walk out, they mail me the check. David, All right, we're out of time. Episode twenty two sixty five. Cut the fuck up. We're out of time. Of three thousand <laughs> episodes. <laughs> this is the three thousandth episode of talk fight. No more talking. This is the three thousand. The timer is done. All right. I kill this guy for you. Do you want that? Yes. Okay. I put him in sleep. Start the clock. I mean, not start the clock. Hey, Turn the clock. go ahead, Nico. Try it. <laughs> no, not the clock. Ten more minutes. Go no. ahead, Nico. Try it. No, not ten more minutes. Ten of this, more minutes. Please. Ten more let's minutes. Let's try this up. again. Let's see how this goes now. And let's huh? see if the ad hominem attacks work. Bullet does not actually affect Nico. No, wait. You can't, you can't have this on the show. You can't. Eject the bait to right. Uh oh. Ah, that, son of a bitch. Yeah. Well. It's not looking good for you either. I win it. It's a race against the clock. Who's going to get there first? The, uh, the explosion or this? Say hi to your undergrad girlfriend for us, Carlo. Ah, oh, damn it. Still a chance to win this. Maybe. No. No? Okay. Bye. Goodbye. Nico, it's a runaway. Yes. <laughs> I think so too. We can close that out. <laughs> All right, what do you want? You want, the, you want the trophy or the mystery prize? How about a uh, mystery prize? All right. World Championship Wrestling Belt. All right! Very nice. You bring that to Baba Yaga, they'll, everyone will say you're I cool. They'll this. all want to have sex with you. You do drugs with them, all that jazz. Okay, very cool. Thank you, wizard man. I'm not a wizard. <laughs> all right. That was another one. I think we got time for one or two more. Let's go ahead and get some spooky suggestions, and we will get our next debaters out here. Thanks so much for sticking with us. I'm not a wizard. I'm David Nivens. Um, and, uh, some claps all around. Yeah, everyone seemed to think that went well. Is humanity doomed? Boo Berry or Count Chocula? Uh, <laughs> wizards, are they real? We're getting a lot of, like, it's, um... Uh, are the elite Satanists? That's interesting. Um, let's keep them coming. Let's keep them coming. Spooky, scary, Halloween. That general idea. Um, bear socks, yes or no? Die, freeze head, or whole body? Interesting. Montreal or New York style bagels? Not very spooky. Interesting top. Interesting topic, but not very spooky. Uh, is it the Fed's current monetary policy? Okay, guys, we need some spooky. Let's get spooky skeletons. Uh, ghosts. Yeah. Who can tell a spookiest ghost story? That's a good one. That's okay. That's great. I like it. So this is sort of a debate. The debate is, this is the spookiest ghost story. And we're going to have these two debaters up here try to out-spooky one another. It's almost going to be a freestyle rap battle, but instead of rapping, they're just going to be adding spooky details to the story. Very excited to see how this will go. And these are some great ones we're getting at the end here, so look, don't bring them back for our last topic. Let's go ahead and introduce our next two debaters. Wow. Oh my goodness. Uh, phew, where to start? Go ahead and introduce yourself. Me? Yeah. Oh, my name's Paul. Paul McCartney? Paul McCartney. Oh my god. <laughs> I wandered in here, I don't know. Is this where the recording studio no, is? No, Paul, we're doing talk fight. Are oh. you interested in debating? Well, uh, sure, yeah. I'd love to debate, sure, yeah. Okay, uh, you have to tell the spookiest story. Are you even cool with that? Well, is it spooky story just to scare? Yeah, just yeah. Just to scare people? Yeah. All well, right, I, 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 wanna, I wanna get the next person here, but... Okay. Really awesome. And can I get your name? Yeah. My name's Crazen, and I hand out milk samples at my local Bristol Farms, and I just got off work, and I'm real happy to be here. Crazen, so. you hand out milk samples at your local Bristol Farms. Yeah. You just got off work, and you're really happy to be here. Yeah. All right, let's get that timer started. We're trying to tell the spookiest ghost story. I'd like you to sort of each take a minute and go back and forth. 
and don't feel like you have to finish the story. You're, you know, we're going to be building off of each other here. So, Paul, why don't you start? Sir Paul, why don't you start us off? All right, I'll start with uh, the spookiest story I know. Um, well, I, I was in a band called The Beatles, you know. Yeah. With the, my French John and <laughs> Paul. Ringo. Yeah, you're Paul. George. Yeah. George was great. He, <laughs> one, one time we were, we were traveling from, from one place to the other, you know, like you do a tour, you have to travel, you have to yeah. go, you get in a bus and you go, you know, you uh -huh. in the bus. And one time I, I had a cup of tea, you know, okay. I, put, I had drinking my cup of tea with, with the others and I put it on the table. Okay. And I get, and then we stop and I say, well, I, I have to go take a pee, you know, I have to go take a wee on the side of the road. I come back, the tea is gone. Where's, where's the tea? I said, John, John says, I don't, I don't know, he says. And um, I'm thinking where someone must have taken it. All goes right, to, so uh, let's pause there. Okay. And Crazen, whenever you're ready, start us off. Uh, once upon a time, there was a farm in the middle of nowhere. And this farm had was a family-run farm. Okay. And all the cows were treated so well and they were actually grass fed. And they got to sort of wander around the property, which was 50 acres big, and um, they were really well taken care of. Okay. Well, one night, things didn't go so well. One of the cows, I, when, there was a girl that lived on the farm. <laughs> There was a girl that lived on the farm, and she went out at night because she because she remembered that she forgot to feed have the cows feed ready for okay, the morning. Okay, now hold that. Okay, Paul, keep going. Okay, well, so I asked John, "Where's the tea? Where'd it go?" And he says, "I don't know. You know, I, I saw it here too." He says, "And I just disappeared." And I said, "Well, that's strange." So we go we go to the gig, and did we you go, ask them if anyone had drank your tea with them. I did. They all they all said okay. no. And they all had their own tea, so why would they? Exactly. Yeah. There okay. was plenty of tea. Okay. In fact, I made myself another cup. Okay. It was it was very nice. So keep going. So we're at the gig, and we're about to play, and we're all drinking our tea, and I put mine down. And I say I got I got to use the restroom, mates. You know, I got to use the restroom. So I go and use the restroom. I come back. My tea's gone. Again, well, it, it disappeared. <laughs> okay, it disappeared from the stage. I, I asked the audience, anyone see tea? No, no one's seen tea. No one's seen it. And I'm thinking, well, it must have been a ghost or some kind of, you know, goblin or something. You know, must have gone on stage and taken my tea. All right, thank you. All right, well, crazy. Pick back up. So the girl had gone over to the cow barn, and she had noticed, hmm. One of the cows has red eyes. That's really weird. And she said, oh, I think this cow was one of the new exports that we had gotten earlier in the day. And hang on, we're gonna see some evidence from your story. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this looks like uh, Alistair Sex Sweat, famous ENS character. Was he at the farm? Yes. Okay. Did he sell you this cow with the red eyes? Yes, All he right. did. He's a, he's, a, he's a spooky guy. Yes. So the girl, the little girl, she's about five years old. Oh, wow. And um, she had seen this cow that it had red eyes. And she said, oh, this must be one of our newest exports. And she said, let me check. Because on that farm, they don't believe in like branding. On that family farm, they don't believe in like branding or anything. Okay, and now so, hold that. Okay. Paul, pick back up. Well, cut to years later, you know, I'm at my home. I'm at my home with, with Linda. And we're, we're hanging out, I'm playing my piano, you know, I'm making a song. Mm -hmm. Which and song were you writing? I was writing, uh, she came in through the bathroom window. Okay, so not that many years later. Okay. No, no, yeah. it was about two years or okay. something like that. So I'm writing me song, you know, and I'm drinking me tea. Mm -hmm. And suddenly I say, well, I gotta go use the restroom. I'll continue the songwriting later. I come back, tea's gone. Okay. The tea's disappeared. I say, Linda, have you seen the tea? She says, no, just go pour yourself another cup. And I did. But I don't know what happened to the tea that was there. You understand? It's, it's disappeared. So what, what happened to the tea? I don't know. It's a All ghost. Right. Thank a you very much. Crazen, pick back up. 
So on this family farm, they don't believe in branding their cows. We're gonna see some evidence about this. Okay, so this looks like that's uh, what the little that's what the little girl prays to every night to protect the cows. <laughs> okay, Saint Jesse Pinkman and Saint Goth, Goth girlfriend. Okay, so you're so yeah, keep going. The little girl is very religious, so she sees this. <laughs> so the the farm doesn't believe in branding. They actually have little necklaces that they put on the cows. That way, you know it's from the Bristol Farms. You know it's from the Bristol Farms. Okay. And this new cow with the red eyes. The little girl said, "Let me see what. Let me see what her necklace says." The necklace. The necklace has said. Al Albertsons. This was an Albertsons cow. Okay, great. Hold that. So now we want to start winding down. You got two <laughs> frames each left. So let's go ahead and Paul. All right. Well, cut to years later. You know, I'm in me home. I'm in. How me many home. years are you still in the Beatles? This is mid, mid '80s. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you're you're doing uh, I'm doing in my regards to Broad Street and all <laughs> yeah, that shit. All okay. that stuff. Yes. The wonderful songs we made mm -hmm. back then. That's, well, that's your opinion. <laughs> I'm making I'm making me out my me new album. You mm -hmm. know, and I'm writing it. And I'm, I'm drinking some tea. And so I walk to the restroom and I, I open up the wrong door because it was a new house. I just bought it. Okay. And who's standing there? It's John. The and ghost of John the Lennon? The ghost of John Lennon. All right, he's now holding what's this all evidence? my teacups. This is my face. When I saw him, I was like, what? <laughs> John, what are you doing here? With a question mark. That was what I looked like. Okay, so you're seeing the ghost of John Lennon. He's holding all the teas you had lost over all those years. Yes, and I said, what are you doing here? And he said, well, I don't know. I made a wrong turn. And I said, well, you want to jam? And he said, yeah, sure. All right, great. Thank all you. Right. You got one left after this. Crazen, you got two more. Go. Okay, so... It's an Albertson's cow. So the little girl had noticed that the cow's necklace said Albertson. So this cow had come from an Albertson's farm. And the cow was licking its teeth, and he and she knew in that moment, oh, this cow's demon possessed. And if I don't do something about this, this cow is going to get to pass around this demon to all my other cows on these bristle farms, on my bristle farm, and then it's going to produce bad cows and bad milk, and it's going to poison people and kill them. Makes sense. Because that's what Albertson's milk does to the body. Is this and an advertisement for... No. Okay, okay. Nope. keep going. I'm not on the clock. Okay. So the little girl said, there's only one thing that I can do to make sure that this demonic cow from Albertson's doesn't hurt anybody. And now hold that. Okay, Paul, okay. conclude your story. Well, cut to years later, I'm in me home. How many years? What years is it? This is a mid 2000s. Okay. So, you know, and actually it might have been more like last year, actually, now that okay. I think about it. And I'm just sitting, I'm drinking tea with John and George. And, and I'm thinking, what happened? I, they've come back to life. It's, they, they say, no, we're ghosts. We're ghosts, mate. Let's get some evidence real quick. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> that was, that was my secretary. Oh, you maybe see, your was, secretary had a hand in this. Yes, that was actually my secretary. I told her what happened. And she, she made some calls, and she tried to call the police, but they didn't believe her. Fifteen seconds. Okay, well, long story short, uh, John Lennon tried to kill me. <laughs> okay. With the teacup. Okay. He threw it at me. <laughs> and, did, and he didn't succeed because you're still here. Okay, pretty spooky. Fairly Thank spooky. You. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Crazen, you have a chance to win this here. So... The little girl said, there's only one thing I can do. And she looked at the demon cow and she said, listen, I know I could easily kill you right now and, and like end this threat and all of this, but I don't believe in that. And my mama raised me better than that. She said, my mama raised me better than that. And she was pointing her finger at the cow. And the cow said, because it was a demon, it could talk. And the demon said, okay, if you give me your body, I will leave the cows alone. And she said, 20 seconds. She said, and she said, okay, I'll make you that deal. Why don't you come? And um, her mom was 
Like, her mom was outside of the barn, and she was like, no. She was like, Sally, please don't do this. Just kill the cow. Just kill it. And that's your time. All right. <laughs> So we have a story about Paul McCartney where a bunch of tea goes missing over a series of years. He doesn't quite know where they keep Freud going. Mate. Nobody seems to figure it out. Eventually he sees the ghost of John Lennon who says, I don't know how I ended up here by accident. Sorry about that. They jam together for a little bit. Then many years later, he sees himself suddenly because a secretary made some calls. He's talking to his dead bandmates, Paul and George. No, sorry. John and George. And then John tries to kill him with one of those teacups that had gone missing. It was terrifying. Now, it was so terrifying. We have terrifying. Crazen's story, which is a uh, there's a cow on the farm that they bought to be exported, but they didn't realize that it was an Albertsons brand cow that they had bought from Alistair Sex Sweat. It was red in the eyes. The girl said, we have to get rid of this cow because it's evil and demonic and they don't want to spread that around because they're like Bristol Farms. And the mom said that's no fair, and we didn't really get to hear what happened to the cow, but I think we can assume they destroyed the cow or something. And it seemed like an advertisement for Bristol Farms, but it was also pretty spooky. So let's go ahead and get those polls up, and you're going to be voting on which of those was scarier. And I, in the meantime, I'll tell a spooky, scary story. There's this guy, and he shows up to some house, and he's like, Hey, <laughs> you, you uh, have something of mine. And the guy's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have anything of yours. And the guy's like, yes, you do. You have something of mine. Oh, sudden death. Okay, wait, we're going to get to extend the story. And the, real quick, the ending to mine was that the guy, he was like him, his body. It was like, you are me. I'm here to take you. I, you have me. And then the guy's like, well, then who am I? And it was very scary if I got more time. Okay, Paul, you get one more minute. Oh, oh. One more minute? One more minute. To tell me story. Yeah. Still has to be spooky. Yeah. All right, well, John tried to kill me with the teacups. Right. And suddenly I look around and there's no teacups. I said, what happened? And he says, I don't know. Did the ghost take him? And I said, well, I don't know. You're a ghost. You should know. And he runs off and I said, John, where are you going? And then I've never seen him again. That was last year. Okay. Do you think he might come back? He could come back. That I hope he doesn't now. That would be a spooky conclusion to the story. We throw teacups at us. Okay. And that you have 26 more seconds. Do you want to add anything to scary? Maybe there's a werewolf or something. Oh, yes. I would. It doesn't have to be a true story. I don't know if I was clear about that. You can just make up a scary story. Well, you know, I, uh, let's see. One time I, I, I met the devil. I wouldn't start a whole new story. You met, met the devil? I met the devil okay, one time. Okay, you have eight seconds. Oh, well, he came to my house. He came to my house and he said, oh, I'm the devil. And I said, what are you doing here? And that's it. Oh, okay. All right. Crazen. Okay, so the little girl looked at the cow and said, deal, come into my body. And then they, and then you entered like a spirit realm and her soul was fighting the demon soul. And they fist were fight. fighting. Yes, and they were fist fighting in the spirit realm and they're fighting and fighting, and fighting and they got each other on the ground. And then he goes, black. And then the girl, the little girl wakes up the next day in the barn, in the hay. And she's like, ugh. Oh, what happened? And then she looks at the camera and she goes. She looks at the camera? <laughs> she looks at the camera. She goes. And her eyes are red. Oh, so it, she thought it was a dream. Ooh. And now where'd the camera come from in the story? <laughs> Mom was holding a camera. Oh, okay. So yeah. she was like taking a home video. <laughs> yeah. All right, and that's time. Yeah. So let's see if that affected the vote at all. <laughs> Some <laughs> details that were added was the little girl became the scary demon cow from uh, Albertsons, and that Paul also met the devil. We didn't get to hear a lot about it, but that was that was also part of the story. Anyway, so the guy keeps showing up and he keeps going, you have this thing of mine. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I just moved into this place. And he goes, yeah, you moved into this place. Like, and then he adds some details about how he was like, this was my, like, I used to live in this place. And it's like, okay. And he's like, and I had the same name as you. And it's like, well, that's weird. And then it's like, and you don't actually, you don't, none of your family, this is all fake. None of this is here. And then the guy's like, whoa, wait a minute. Well, then who am I? And then he realizes like they, they, they find out he's like in a lab. He's like he's like a uh, like a guinea pig that they're like testing. Would that be a cool movie? You think, Paul? I'd, I'd watch that. Yeah, it was right. very vivid. Cool. Thank you.
All right, and Crazen wins. Oh. Crazen story. Oh. Yes. The cinematography oh, seemed to put Crazen over the edge. Oh, that's good story. <laughs> Very spooky. Very oh, spooky. Yes. Uh, and the devil's not that scary. He's actually pretty chill. Um, not my devil. Not the one I saw. Sorry about that. Well, thanks for coming, Paul. Uh, good luck with wherever you're headed. <laughs> Thank you Big very fan. much. Big yeah. fan. Oh, yeah, so I'll have to include your name on me album. Really? That'd be yeah, awesome. I'll David make a Nimmons. whole song about you. Okay. All right. That'd be really cool. Great. Thanks, man. Well, is this a, where we record, or should I go you somewhere can, else? If you want to do it, you can, but this is... A, we don't have good recording equipment. I mean, we have pretty good. We had just bought a new mic, actually, so this might sound pretty okay. Well, I think the band's waiting for me, though. I don't okay, know. yeah, Maybe yeah. You can get out of here. Just see dedicate them. the song to me or write the song about me or whatever. That's cool. All right. Yes, I'll call the song um, The Biggest Jerk in the World. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Uh, well, I got fucking owned on that one. It seems all right. Like. Well, I'll, I'll just go fuck myself then. Goodbye. Thanks for coming by, Paul. All Sir right. Paul. Bye bye. Uh, Crazen? <laughs> yeah. You get a trophy for the spookiest story. Oh, thank you. I can't wait to drink my Bristol Farms milk out of this uh, one. And you are advertising for Bristol Farms, <laughs> no, it seems like. I'm not. Okay. When you love what you do, you don't have to work a day in your life. Fair enough. I wouldn't know what that's like. Thanks for coming by, Grayson. Thank you. Cheers, y'all. And for me, this is very arduous labor. I wish I was doing something else. Hey David, so you said says here that we have one more scary story. We have one more scary story? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's bring it out. Oops. Oh my god. Just Sean William Scott. <laughs> Temper and looks both were hot. Thank you so Hi, much, everybody. everybody. We're the Everything Now Show. We're at, it's, it's the Everything Now Show. You can see us every Monday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Pacific and Saturdays at 6 p.m. Pacific. Follow us on here, Twitch, twitch.tv slash Everything Now Show, if you haven't already. The follow follow button. Join the Discord. Hit exclamation Discord right there and join so you can submit photos and participate in interesting ways like tonight with all the evidence. Somebody uh -oh. just ejected a bit debater. That's do, fucked up. Are we up. able to do that in this I set? think not. Wavy? But, uh, sorry, Wavy. Sorry, Wavy? but thank you anyway. You know, Thanks anyway, Wavy. You know what we're capable of. Follow the Instagram. Grant is putting up amazing highlight reels of every episode. Follow the YouTube. That's where all of our VODs go up so you can watch every Subscribe single episode. All 289 episodes or something like that we've done. We're hitting the big three soon, people. Uh, and uh, yeah, follow us on Twitter, uh, everything Thank underscore you. now making underscore. Games. You guys making games in the lab every day. I know, look at this guy, actually, right? He's doing alchemy. Wow. Uh, thank you, law books, especially though. to everybody who donated, who played sound alerts tonight, who subscribed tonight. It really means a lot to us. Thank you. If you uh, wanted to submit images, join the Discord. All the evidence images from the evidence sound alert tonight were submitted by you, the audience. So uh, if you didn't know that, now you know. If you'd like to do stuff like that, definitely join the Instagram. We do image submission games in basically all of our the shows. Discord. Yes, Discord, not Instagram. Oh, okay. I said Instagram. They're Discord submission. So join the Discord. The link is in the chat and it's also in the panels down below. You can participate in that way. And thank you to everybody who did. And hey, you know, we can't make the show without guests. It's true. And tonight we had two incredible guests, it's Alice true. and Derek. Let's Come on up. Get out of here. What's this boy band called? What's that? BPF? Yes. We can do like yeah. IPF. Hi. IPF. Yes. That's, yeah. That's yeah. fun. That's Derek fun. and Alice! Hey. Thank you so much for being so fucking funny. Great oh, pose. Yeah. Great pose. And one more, or any other pose you want to do for any the Instagram, Instagram posts? Something fun. Oh, Ooh, we could do that. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, That's good. good. Oh, we could do that. Derek's not getting that. Derek's not getting that. There it is. Yes. <laughs>
Very good, yes. Excellent. One back. Great job. Oh. Hey, so what's, what do you guys have going on in your lives? You don't have to get too personal, yeah, but like, you know, yeah, maybe want. shows. Yeah, if you want to get anything off your chest. Do you want to, yeah, like, listening. They don't talk. They don't know anybody. It's just yeah, around. It's just us and chat. Dense, you know. Uh, I, I'd like to plug the weekend. You guys got to get into this thing. It's coming up soon. Starts tomorrow. Goes Saturday and Sunday. Find something to do. Just have fun, you know. Have fun with it. Yeah. Weekend. So true. Best Shouts week. out to the weekend. The time, not the artist. I was <laughs> yes. confused. I was throwing. Yeah, yeah. The I weekend. Was like he likes the weekend. Okay. That's the weekend. We can shout out. We can follow Derek on his socials as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Alice. Uh, um. Oh yes. Actually, I do have a a show coming up. If you know Julie and Sydney from Everything Now, from the Everything Now verse, we are putting on a show at the Yard on Wednesday, November sixteenth at nine p.m. here in Hollywood, California. It's going to be very fun, very oh, yeah. cool. Um, and, and stream Midnights, y'all, cause it's out, right? It's out. It's I don't out. Know. I guess so. Taylor Swift's new album Ooh, is out right gonna, now. She's gonna be on the next episode uh, of Everything you Now. Gotta. So we're gonna uh, do a album review with Taylor Swift on the next episode. <laughs> so make sure you don't miss, what is it today, Thursday? Yeah. Saturday, Saturday, show. Saturday, show. Saturday, 6 p.m. And we actually, we don't have Taylor Swift, but coming up soon, there's going to be a very, very super special guest on this Huge. show. Oh, yeah, we, got, we do have a celeb. We Next month. Celeb These guys are cool. No offense to you two who are amazing. <laughs> but... Well, we got can, we, can we give like a little <laughs> teaser? Can we give a little <laughs> teaser? Can we? Here, the little teaser we is we've already said who it is. Oh yeah, they did true. spoil can it we... in the Discord. Another great reason the to join the Discord. <laughs> yeah, the weekend is going to be. You want to find out? We have a we have a serious big time heavy hitter coming on the show yeah. this month. Crawl, Crawl the through the Discord, Discord and you'll find, you'll find out who it is. It's not an announcement. I'll tell you that much. We do this show every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you like this one, come back Saturday night at 6 p.m. Saturday shows are at 6 p.m. Monday and Thursdays are at 8. PM. We do it three times a week, so if you had fun this time, drop us a follow so that you get an alert next time we go live. Join the Discord. We'll see you back here on Saturday. Yep. Yes. Find us on Saturday. You'll see special guest Jordan Lee Cohen. Oh, oh yes. Oh. And also, oh. um, Jesse. Jesse. Something. What's his name? Uh, not written on the thing. That's not it. It's not in the schedule. We'll put it on. We'll put we a poster. We fucked up. People. It's Jesse something. We'll put a poster out. No, hold on. I got it. I got it. One second. Give me two seconds. It's true. Dumb Spyro Spiro. Bill galaxy. Murray, at the height of his coolness, is going to be. Oh, God. <laughs> we've had the episode. Let's do it. Uh, Jordan Lee Cohen and Jesse Kendall. Jesse Kendall. Jesse Kendall. Come on, Woo! It's going to be auditions. An old classic. Hey, you like it. Exactly. Say hi to Pete Zach yeah. for us. We were watching Scooby Doo oh, yesterday. Yeah. That was fun as hell. Tell them what's up. See you on Saturday. We love you. Bye. Thanks for being so fun. Bye bye. bye. See you in the Discord. See you Enjoy in the Discord. midnight. See you in the Discord. Bye. Enjoy the Taylor Swift album. Yes. And we're done. We're out. Out.